Hey guys, one very cold shed dweller here and welcome back to what I hope to be a very fun video. I'm currently in a very cold and misty Munich for the BMW live event here. Lots of sim racing coming up, which I'm going to be taking part in. So, of course, got my pride in the line a little bit. But earlier on, I had the opportunity to go to the BMW Motorsport headquarters to go check out some very cool pieces of motorsport history. So and here we are on a rather unassuming industrial estate in the middle of Munich. We are at the BMW Motorsport headquarters. Right now we're just in the lobby, we're waiting for our little tour to start of their offices. But even in the lobby here, we have some absolutely awesome machinery. Of course, just to the right of me here, we have Augusto Fathers' DTM car and that beautiful shell livery. And over there with uh, a crowd of people in front of them, we have the M. Uh, 240i and an M4 GT4 car. Really awesome to see these cars in the flesh. But my attention was caught by something that's right in the corner. We can't actually quite see it from here, but it is a very special engine. Let's, let's go take a look. So this is the engine I was talking about. And you might think, okay, what makes this so special? But this is the BMW V8 F1 engine that sat in Robert Kubica's car when he took his first and only victory at Montreal, and below there is the bottle of champagne you're given as well. Just the bottle, of course, no champagne left in that at the moment, which is a shame, because I could do the drink right now. Well, what do you reckon? Reckon I can get this in my, uh, in my Mazda? I think it can squeeze it in there, I think so. Might move the weight balance a bit forward, though. <laughs> right, so we're about to start our tour now of the uh, BMW offices, which is just through here with the motorsport bits and bobs. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually film through here, so um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, B-roll afterwards, hopefully, because if we do film, a man will come and break our legs, which I'm not really a fan of right now. I need to do some walking. But included within those offices is their motorsport simulator, which I'm dying to get a look at. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it. So here is the BMW motorsport simulator. And no, they wouldn't let me have a go. In this video, Alex Sims is getting ready for an upcoming Formula E race. But when I was there, there was a DTM cockpit mounted to the simulator instead and that was being used to get ready for the next round of the season what you don't really see though in this video is just the amount of computer screens that are behind the simulator all of course uh, complete with engineers and they're basically just running through real life simulations of what could happen in the race what could happen at the track and getting the driver used to those scenarios before then sending them out to do the real thing you can see that a lot of money has gone into this which is why i'm not surprised i wasn't really allowed to film but hey maybe next time so we have the event just to well my right anyway the bmw welt or bmw world because of course i'm high q and no german i'm gonna go check out the venue and see what i'm gonna be racing today should be fun <laughs> We arrived a little bit late um, to this kind of unveiling going on. Right now you can see a rather interesting looking shape underneath the cover there. Uh, guess, early guess it's maybe an M2 of some sort, but about to get the reveal. And I'm hoping, because I've had a little bit of a uh, tip off from somebody, that we might be actually driving a version of whatever is under there in the simulator a bit later on, but we'll have to wait and see. And everyone's just got a bit rowdy, so it's quite actually hard to hear anything right now. We've just heard from the commentary guys up there that uh, this car is being rolled out officially in RF2. So the little tip I got earlier on was actually correct. So that's going to be really cool. I think we're going to be driving that in the kind of media race. Um, I've got a qualifying group here on my pass, as well as what simulator I'm on. So I'm going to see who I match up with. Should be fun. I've just found out what the race format is today. Basically right now on the background there's some qualifying uh, going on. There are three qualifying groups, uh, I think. Well, I'm in the third one anyway. And we are qualifying for a place in the team race later on with the pro drivers. So my goal, of course, is to set a decent qualifying time so I can go through and drive with the big boys. I'm hoping my uh, sim racing training is going to come into some uh, sort of helpful here. But uh, odd setting. Uh, we're using the Fanatec Podium Series and the Elite pedals down the bottom there, hopefully with load cell, because I like me a load cell. And the big old uh, BMW GT2 rim, which is like a truck rim, it's massive. I've got really tiny hands, so I kind of struggle to reach shifters from the back. But it should be a lot of fun. And of course, the star of this little qualifying and race show is this car up here, the BMW M2. Uh, it's not really a GT4 car, I don't think, but uh, a new car for us to play with. And the first time anyone gets to drive it, albeit in a simulator. 
Cool, so basically now what I have to do in this qualifying uh, race practicing coming up is have a, uh, a time that's in the top 10 lap times. That way I get then qualified into the uh, team race a bit later on. So uh, the majority of people here are kind of like journalists and you know, people who write for magazines who are here for the actual uh, real car launch behind us. So I'm hoping being a filthy uh, sim racing degenerate is going to give me a bit of an advantage here. So it's win or nothing, I think, this event. I've got, I've got to win this. If you come around here, on the bottom here, Team Sykes. So I have uh, a uh, ex superbike champ as my uh, as my coach. There he is, hey. Hello, oh, good to see you, mate. Jimmy. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, good, good. Looking forward to smashing it. Hey, yeah, well, you and me both. Yeah. Because I've, I've never, never been on one of these. Oh, so don't say that, man. Don't say that. <laughs> Why don't you bring a better camera? <laughs> so I look all right. Right, OK, let's rock and roll. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, let's have it. So this is uh, RF2. So we're in R Factor 2 in the uh, BMW uh, M2, that new car they've released uh, just now, or they've teased just now. I've got, uh, I've got Mr. Sykes next to me, giving me inspirational words in my ear. Apparently we're already champions here. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I should be all right. <laughs> Let's see how we do. So, at the pits the first time. I'm going to go and get some a little bit stronger. Looks how we'll need it. <laughs> right. See what this thing's got. So no traction control. Oh, very slightly, of course. Cold tires and cold brakes at the moment. I think I'll warm us up a little bit as we go. Good set, good. Some words of uh, true wisdom there. It is. What, what do you Thank think, you. Coach? I think we're doing all right here. I'm just trying to trying to wear the job up. Did you say we're racing? Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's he's stuck. He's, he's come back at me. <laughs> this is some bullying. This is. That was fine, mate. Definitely not my fault. Well, well recovered that. Well recovered. That. Right. So we're doing our little qualifying race now. Doesn't matter where we finish. It's all about lap time. So I got to try and get clear as quick as we can. Here we go. Come on, lads. Let's have it. Cool. Let's have it. Keep it cool, sir. Here we go. Great set. Send it. Whoop. I can't. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the immediate murder. Sorry. Not really, though. All right. Keep your cool now, son. That's it. We're home and dry. Home and dry. <laughs> I did it again. I've just killed half the field. I want to try and get into the uh, 39s. I'm not sure if that's possible or not. Ah, no! Oh, no, he's ruined it. Pride comes before the fall. That's a uh, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've let, my, I've let you down, Tom. I'm sorry, man. Well, they don't worry. That's what we call showboating. You <laughs> play to the crowd, kid. <laughs> there you go. Elandi! Elandi! <laughs> okay, good start for now. Uh, well, we'll see how it, uh, how it progresses. I'm, I'm probably going to have done a 30 if I didn't, uh, like a 39 if I didn't stack it, but I think a 40.9 is good enough. I think it's a good start. Jimmy Rockman, what a success, my goodness. Congratulations. How did he make it? Was it all about Tom? It was all Tom. I, I was useless. Until Tom came in, I was lost. And uh, with his tuition, I managed to get the time. So thank you, Tom. Join us. What, what advice did you give him? Uh, nothing. Uh, just, Elade. Elade, go on, lad. No, no advice. It looks like it's not his first rodeo. And uh, yeah, cracking, we're off to a good start, so there's no pressure on, on me now, at all. <laughs> uh, looking forward to how it's going to be in the race, but what should you tell me? You're not doing it the very first time, right? I've never seen this before in my life, actually. Oh, uh, I'm not, not, not really into this, no. Um, yeah, I've done a few laps in the sim, so. A few? A few. How many hours a day? Uh, if I said that, I think I'd be very embarrassed, maybe. <laughs> Right then, so uh, do we just had our little qualifying race there. Tom, how do you think I did? I'd say you did very, very well. I was a little bit disappointed with the showboating on, <laughs> on the last lap. 
All he had to do was keep his powder dry and he made a vital mistake, but luckily, the sensational laps before and giving the giving the breathing space. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I was looking at the lap times, trying to figure out the braking marker because I've, I've never been on this before. Mm. Clearly, somebody has. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I can keep that trend going. We'll see. I think you'll be good. I think you'll be good. Just sort of, it's easy. Not the bit of traction control. There's no traction control. Just slide it around and let the weight do the work, and it's all good. Well, all good. <laughs> hey. Tell you what, as long as I can keep it pointing forward, that's the main thing. So we'll see. Oh. Top man, well done. Thank you, buddy. Cheers. Right, so under the watchful eye of Tom Sykes and his uh, cheering on in the background, I was able to, I think, be the fastest uh, qualifier, I think, which is great. I got to say, the car's a lot of fun, very intuitive. Um, it's not very quick in a straight line, that's not kind of not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be like an entry level racer, but you get that feel. There's no traction control, so you can really move the car around on the throttle. Especially in the first arena section where it's a lot of tight corners and turning the car on its own is quite tricky. So it's good to give it a little bit of throttle to induce just a tiny bit of slip and get the car moving around. So uh, I'm kind of a bit nervous. If we do a race, T1 at the Nürburgring is always a bit scary because it's a hairpin and everyone's a hero. Uh, like I was, I actually murdered someone at the start of the race. We won't show that, it's fine. It won't show that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. And yeah, ho hopefully the, this car is as good as, uh, to race as it is just to drive on its own. In terms of the, the real car just behind me, I've got to say that, you know, I've, ever since driving the M2, uh, I think the first time I drove it was in Ireland last year. And then, of course, a bit later on this year in the, at the Nürburgring. I really enjoy how it looks. I kind of like the kind of short or stocky look of the car. And uh, in race trim, I think it looks even cooler, but I would love to see a GT4 version. That's what I want to see. This isn't a GT4, I don't think, but maybe in the future. Okay, so fastest qualifying time, which is awesome. And that means also we get put on the number one rig, which means we are paired with Timo Glock. How cool is that? Is that Glock? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to this. Hey Timo, how's it going man? Good to meet you. Gonna try and carry our rig to victory. That's, that's, that's the effort anyway. So do you have any helpful tips for me? <laughs> oh no. Well I had to know the same sort of thing from Tom. Just Tom just yelled at me. <laughs> he was like, rah, 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 go on, go on. That's all I had from Tom, so. Not a bad start there. I've got, I've got no mirror, I can't really see what's going on behind me. So I've got to be careful. I think it's really cold right now. Oh, he's on the inside. There you go, one mistake, got to try and put away now. No pressure, Jimmy Lynn! No pressure! <laughs> <laughs> you keep it all together! Oh no! You bastard! No! All that, all that tuition, <laughs> and now you go and switch teams. Give me some credit, kid, give me some credit. <laughs> oh my word. All right, come on. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Winner, winner. Obviously, it was the cheering on from uh, Tom at the end that gave me the extra bit to win that. Without that, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have won. That was close, though. I thought it had a bit more of a gap than I did, so I happened to kind of push a little bit at the start, but that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. There you go. Mm.
I got to win something every now and then, so I'll take it. <laughs> What, what, how do I celebrate? What do I do? Do I, do I, do I get champagne? Uh, later. Yeah? <laughs> you have to race again later on the team race. Oh, wow. Uh, stay there and, and uh, stay with the team of the I There you go. Oh, that's the one that I was talking about. I get it. That was fun. You, you were good, man. You, I, was, yeah. I was worried for a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I bought it, man. A lot of fun. Enjoyed it. I actually like really hurt my hand the other day, and that guy's got a really tight grip. My hands are really hurting. Oh, that's Tom. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Tom, come on, come on, mate, come on, mate. Come on. Keep the two for your team. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> it's a good one, actually. It's a first one. Look at that. It's not bad, is it? You can tell it's the first trophy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, carry Timo Glock to his first podium of the year. You know, as you do. I have my champagne now. Got my trophy. I can go home now. I'm done. Finished. <laughs> it's not the most budget celebration. So the rest of the evening pans out a little bit like this. We just had, of course, the most important race, the media race. Now we have the fan race, people who, of course, fan simulate, etc. Then we have the pro race, which is the pro sim races. And then the, uh, the teams based on the results of all those three races are then decided for the team race at the end. So I'm already in the team race because I won our media race. I'll be on the uh, rig number one with Timo Glock. But we're still yet to decide who's going to be the pro and the fan driver. It's um, a little complicated, but I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to racing with some guys who are actually decent. Mitchell de Jong and Team Tomzik currently in the race lead, but you can see the M8 just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Here comes Henrik, here comes Team Crowd, side by side, across the finish line they go. But I believe, I believe Team Tomzik might have just come away with it. Photo finish, Team Tomzik takes it, Mitchell de Jong is your winner. Right, so we just had quite an exciting end to the pro race, with the top two being separated by seven thousandths of a second at the line, which is pretty mad. But of course now comes the big one, the team race, which I should hopefully be racing in very shortly, just waiting for people to get set up though. But I didn't know the pro race, that the prize uh, for the winner was 10 grand. So imagine losing out on 10 grand by 7 thousandths of a second. No, <laughs> that's grim. Look. Right, so just had a bit of a, an update from our host. Unfortunately, because of all the delays we had previously, a couple of technical issues before going to the pro race, the team race isn't happening anymore, which is a real shame. But it does mean not I have a 100% win record here at the BMW Live thing. So that's a good thing, right? It's a shame I won't be able to race alongside some of the pros, of course, alongside uh, Mr. Timo Glock himself. But it is what it is. Still regardless, a really quite fun evening, I think. So that's it there for the BMW Sim Live event here in Munich. And what I must say, it was an absolute pleasure to be invited along to come and drive alongside some of the guys here. Bit of a shame we didn't get to do the team event in the end, but technical issues happen. It's, you know, it's an event that's growing and not quite, uh, just kind of iron up all the creases at the moment. Um, but what can I say apart from got to drive a new car in our Factor 2, the BMW uh, M2 CL behind us there, which is a lot of fun. Very much uh, hoping that I can maybe get into that in real life at some point. Please, Mr. BMW. Um, but yes, other than that, I think it's time for us to head off. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon, because that way you'll be notified of future streams and future videos. As always, a massive thank you to cameraman Steve on the camera. Cheers, Steve. Take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.